Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers, Mass Outdoors, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some useful knots, knots that I use all the time out in the woods for different applications. So I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of, the, of useful knots, the, the knots that I find most useful out in the field, and the first knot I'm going to show you guys right now is a timber hitch. So let's go to the tree and show you guys that. All right, so before we get started, I want to get some terminology down for you guys. If you're new to this, if you already know what I'm talking about, you know, just hear me out. So when we're doing knots, we usually talk about the tag in, the working in, and a bite, or a bite in a bit, stuff like that. So this would be the tag end. If I'm holding a tag end, this would be my working in or standing in. And anytime I put a bite in a rope, this is what I mean. That, that's just a loop or a bite, things like that. So maybe that will help you on some other videos that are on the internet as well because I don't hear a lot of people actually explaining what those mean. So a timber hitch is really simple. All I do is I start out with a bite, okay? And I take that bite and I spin it three, four times, something like that. And that's it. There's actually no tying in a timber hitch. That's all I need to do. So if I take that around the tree, I put my fingers in just like this and I grab my working end and then I just pull that through that timber hitch. That is the loudest rooster. You still have a long rope to go. Yeah, this isn't exactly the best for teaching, but it's what I have <laughs> with me. And that's a timber hitch. Easy as that. Mm -hmm. So as you see, that's where the, the line was twisted. So pretty easy, right? And there's actually no tying involved in a timber hitch. And that's what it's a really quick, convenient, easy hitch to do because all you do is spin it, put it around something, tie it up, and that's it'll it is secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. I could put weight on this, it's not going anywhere. But let's go ahead and move on. Next knot that I use a lot is called the taut line hitch, and it's very easy to do. So the taut line hitch is a very easy knot to do, and all I do is I start out by running the tag in around a tree, just like this, and then I go under twice. One, two, just like that, and then back around and I do a hitch. Now, I could make this a slippery taut line, and we'll go through that here in a second. So one of the advantages to a taut line hitch is that I could adjust it to the tree, and that's pretty much self-tightening at that point, or I could come and I could loosen it, and what that will do is it'll like tighten a ridge line. Now, that being said, sometimes taut lines will move, they'll slide with a, you know, if you have a tarp attached to it and the wind blows it really hard, the taut line will slide. But they are really nice knots that are really quick and easy. Now to make this a slippery taut line hitch is incredibly easy. All you do is when you're ready to put your last hitch in, you just make it a slippery hitch. And it's the same knot, but it's still adjusts the same way, still self-tightening, now it's just a slippery knot. <laughs> Alright, so now one of my favorite hitches is the fairman's hitch, and I like it a lot, and it's very easy to, to tie, and it's very easy to adjust, and it's one of the knots that if you do, or if you're using it to adjust a ridge line, it usually doesn't slide very much at all, almost like a Prusik knot. And that's kind of how it's tied, too. And it's very easy to do just by having your tag in looped around but in front of your working end and then you can run this three times just like a press it loop one two oop, three times just like that the rooster won't shut up all right so that's the loop that we made around you come under Put a bite in, put it through that hole, 
Don't worry, we're gonna get close-ups of this. And that's the ferryman's hitch. That's again, self-tightening. A lot of weight can be put on this hitch. And you can adjust ridge lines with this hitch. But when you're ready to break camp or whatever, all you gotta do is pull the slip. Love that knot. All right, let's show you that again. By crossing the tag in over the working end, just like that, then putting the tag in over, just laying it on the, the working end, just like that, and going under three times, one, two, three. Just kind of dress the knot up a little bit. I'm going really slow so the knot's kind of undoing itself. And then I grab under, put a bite in, put it through the loop that I made, and tighten. I dress that up a little bit. When I do not slowly, they look kind of crappy sometimes. And then when you're ready to break camp, just pull, and that whole knot comes right out. So, another good way to uh, start a ridge line, et cetera, et cetera, is with a bowline knot. And it's a very good knot for, uh, you know, attaching to bows. Um, you know, but the bowline knot is a very good knot because you're just, you're making a static loop that's not going to go anywhere. It's not slipping. It's not sliding. So, it's very simple to do a bowline knot. The, one of the most important things is to make sure your tag in is over your working end and the old adage is everybody's heard it the rabbit comes out of the hole goes around the tree and goes right back in the hole and that's a bowling knot and again that's a loop that's not going to slip it's not going to slide you just made a loop and then if we go to the tree you know, it's just a very simple loop tied around the tree bring your working end through and that's how you can start a ridge line. So adversely to the bowling knot, the conventional bowling knot, you can do what's called a flying bowling knot. And it's essentially the same thing. It's just really quick to do. And it's the same knot. It's a bowling knot. It's a static loop that's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to slip or slide. It's just done really quickly. So let's do that again slower. And if you guys, any video out there that has a, a daughter that watches the movie, um, it's that Hawaiian movie, Moana, he does this knot in that movie. And my daughter was like, hey, you do that knot. <laughs> so it's really easy to do if you just grab your working end. I step on the rope, I grab the tag end, and I throw it around, and then throw it around one more time. Then you have two loops with your thumb. Grab the loop, pull it through, and that's a flying bowling. So one more time, quickly. And three, two, one. Sorry, right, so now we've showed you several knots to start a ridge line. Let's go ahead and show you how I finish off a ridge line. And I do that by using a trucker's hitch. If you, if you can hear me over the chickens, <laughs> I use a trucker's hitch to finish my ridge lines. All right, so how I start this is I just throw the other end, the working end of my ridge line around the tree, and then I give it a little bit of a tug just to snug it up a little bit. And then I go about a foot, foot and a half away from the tree, and I throw a simple loop in, okay? And then what that's going to do is allow me basically to use this as a, tor a torque point, sort of like a ratchet strap kind of. And this is gonna allow me to get my ridge line really, really tight for setting up uh, shelters, throwing up tarp shelters, hammocks, hammock ridge lines. So just throw that really tight, get it nice and stretched, just like that. Then what I do is I pinch my ridge line right here and throw a bite around. Reach through that bite and grab my rope. And there you go. How I finish this off, especially if this is for hammock camping, 
is I'll grab the tag end of that same rope and I'll throw another bite through and then tighten up or slide that through just like that and that's a slippery eight and that's what it looks like a slippery eight so the same as that uh, fairman's knot where you see me just pull the, the tag in and everything comes apart it's basically the same thing with this all I got to do is pull both of those slippery hitches and everything comes apart and then pull my line through that thing's all out and that bite comes right out as well alright guys well it's just a short video on the knots that I use out in the woods you know hopefully you guys learned something from it those are the knots that I find are very simple to do and they're extremely useful out in the field for you know, ridge lines, like I said, hammocks, etc., etc., and pretty much anything that you need to set up your camp. So, hopefully, like I said, you guys learned something from the video. If you liked the video, click like down below. Subscribe if you already haven't. I appreciate all your views, comments, and support, and hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods. And these are the evil chickens. But most of them are in that coop. So, yeah, you better run in that coop. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, how you guys doing? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers back at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some useful knots, knots that I use all the time out in the woods for different applications. <clears throat> Even the two, one. All right. So the last knot that I show you guys is a trucker's hitch, and 